All right, guys, I'm gonna address this real quick before this gets completely out of control. Of course, it already has. <laughs> the left always likes to run with, Ingo Rademark is trans transphobic. Um, instead of uh, pointing out the fact that that was a comparison, um, while it's not okay to call a, a black woman a white supremacist, um, and I don't think, think either that it's okay to call a transgender an empowered woman, because where does that leave women? Think about that for a second. Where does that leave women? Women have fought so hard to get on a level playing field with men. They weren't allowed to do anything back in the day. They, they were nothing. Um, so I just, I don't agree with that. But I do apologize for not crossing out dude and putting transgender. So I, I apologize for that. Because um, me personally, I wouldn't have written it that way. It was somebody else's post. Uh, again, that's not an excuse. I should have just crossed it out. But the comparison there is um, is just pointing out the hypocrisy of the left wing media. Um, I just don't agree with it. So, but I do apologize again for 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 not writing that correctly and taking that out because I wouldn't refer to a transgender person as a dude if they want to be called a she. That's totally fine. Cassandra, I apologize to you as well. Sincerely, I think you're an absolute talent and you're very beautiful as well. Um, I don't think a transphobic man would say that. Um, I think you're absolutely gorgeous. I really do. So again, I apologize and I'm, I'm sorry, but you and I are going to disagree on, on, a, on a few things and that's that's I'm okay with that. Um, what I have a problem with is n not having open discussion and open debate about things. And the left just shuts everything down. And I have a real problem with that because uh, I don't like bullies. Um, and again, I was wrong about posting it like that. I should have crossed it out and put transgender. So that said, um, general hospital status, I will comment on that later. I just don't have time right now. I'm running around town there. I got a lot of things to do. Um, I will uh, get back in touch with everybody and fill you guys in on, on, on what's happening when I can. And um, again, hey, let's all try to, you know, bring everything together. Oh, another story that I want to tell real quick as well. When Pohaku was three years old, he really wanted a Disney princess dress. And my wife and I explained to him that, you know, girls wear dresses. He didn't care. He wore that princess dress, high heels, tiara, a wand, Walked all over the property so proud because he wanted to look pretty. I don't think a transphobic dad would buy his son a Disney uh, princess dress. So um, there you have it. Um, I'm an open book. I am open to discussion and debate about everything and anything. And I think that we should always be open to that because that is a democracy. Everything else is not.